Hello again. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, quite a quick, simple one, but it's going to be quite a good demo. So this is an SM57 microphone, and this is an SM57 microphone, but they are very different, and this one sounds completely different from this one, and I'll tell you why. So long story short, this one has been modified by me and this one is completely stock standard. So let's talk about what we've done and actually do another mod while we're here. So this is a standard stock SM57, the way it's designed. There's a piece of foam inside here. Then there's something in front of the capsule that directs the sound. The actual capsule here that picks up the sound. Then inside here is a transformer. And what that does is it takes the sound and kind of protects from the outside world, isolates, and also, by the way it's wound, makes the sound output louder, which means that it's a lot easier to get the right amount of gain out before feedback, which makes it great as a live microphone. But all the modern SM57s have kind of a cheap transformer in that, in my opinion, makes the sound a little bit kind of spiky, a bit harsh. Sometimes, and quite a lot of the time, in fact, that can be quite useful on a mix because it can make a guitar really poke out but sometimes you just don't want that sometimes you want more of that clarity because without that high mid spike the high end is just generally more uniform and on something like a guitar can be a lot more smooth so what you do to remove the transformer I'll just open this stock 57 you see these two wires here inside there you can see there's a transformer, and I'll do a little kind of B-roll shot of this. There's a transformer glued in. So the only way to remove it is essentially to boil the microphone. It's a bit rough, but it's how it works. So, these wires have been wired a little bit rough, and this has never been opened before. Here, so let's close that up. So what I did, and I need to go back and quickly resolder this, is you can see how this mic's quite battered. I mean, these are both relatively new, they're only a year or two old, but this one really has seen some live action. So I decided what's the harm in modifying it. So uh, I need to reattach this cable, which was what prompted me to make this video actually. Uh, inside there, there is now no transformer it's just been soldered, so these are new cables that have just been soldered straight to the output pins. So, on the downside, there's less output, which means you need more gain out the preamp, so to do the comparison, I'm gonna have to turn the pre up a bit. And also, it doesn't have any protection, really, from phantom power. So, if there's a phantom power spike, that can kind of do some damage to this. This is also what's called the Tape Op mod, because the Tape Op magazine and online production have quite a detailed kind of way of suggesting how to do this. But I figured if I make a video on it, you can actually see it in action and you can hear the difference. So now I'm gonna run a clean and distorted uh, version of the same thing, reamp through my PV6505 Plus through a Zilla Fatboy with just the SM57. So first it's gonna be the stock 57. Then I'm going to uh, attach this wire again, solder it, and I'm going to put this in its place, turn the gain up a little to match, and then do them as a 1-2 comparison. So, here we go.
What was interesting there is I don't think I've ever actually compared them side by side. I had the impression that the modded one would sound brighter, but it, it doesn't. But it probably is because of that mid-high spike in the transformer sound that gives the stock SM57 that kind of bite. The, I didn't think it was a bad sound out of the mod. Uh, so there's another mod that I want to try. I don't want to actually touch the stock 57. I'm going to leave that as is. But there's a mod that I've read about, which is changing the impedance. So I ordered one resistor, but you can't order one resistor because it's so cheap. So I had to order a handful. So what I heard, and I don't know how much credence I'm going to give this, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Uh, I heard that um, the input impedance compared to the output impedance with the preamp can make a huge difference. A usual modern preamp, and the one that I'm using today is Focusrite Octo Premark 2 Dynamic, which is kind of a a good but kind of run-of-the-mill kind of preamp uh, it's set at price point. And apparently, if you wire a 680 ohm resistor across pins two and three, either inside the mic or in like a separate thing, I'm actually going to do it inside the mic just to see. If you wire that across uh, inside the mic, that changes the impedance that the input sees, which makes the impedance of the mic match the preamp better, apparently. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, wire one of these in and see what happens. So there we go, that's with the 680 ohm resistor across to apparently give us a lower resistance. I found that the tones there were actually a little bit darker if anything, whereas I expected it from what people had said to be a bit brighter. Maybe it's because the transformer's not in this particular SM57 and like I said I don't really want to be going messing around with a stock one. Although, I might in the future make another video where I make what people are calling a gizmo, where I make a little cable with an XLR male and female and put the resistor inside that. So then I don't have to modify the SM57 or other mic. So, I'll give that a go in the future, but for now, that's all folks. Um, I'll just quickly play you the distorted tracks, because those are the ones with the most high frequency information, back to back, right now. So hit like if you found this useful and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please share with all your friends, let everybody know and uh, subscribe to the channel, that's really appreciated, that really helps us to grow. And if you could have a look at our Patreon campaign, see if you can help us out in any way, that would really be appreciated because that helps us to make more of these kind of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.